All right, check it out. Just got these on trade for that really crappy Raptor 350 I had. I think I paid $1,200 for the uh, the Raptor 350. But this one looks like it was registered in 2022. It's a Polaris Genesis four seater. Looks like it's been sitting outside for a while. You can see it needs a good pressure washing here. And this one is a Sea-Doo GTX Bombarder. Pretty much same condition. The uh, plastic's broken right there on it. But also registered in 2022. Trailer looks to be in okay condition. The guy replaced the board right here. He said that was all rotted out. Um, and then he replaced the wiring in the back. So the lights do work. The tires are a little rough. This one's not horrible actually, but the other one's pretty bad. Let's go check it out. This one's dry rotted pretty good. I can see. But uh, carpet all looks good. He said he replaced the lights in the back of the trailer, so that's good. So these are non-running machines, advertised as non-running. They have not been running since 2022 or probably like around 2020 because the tags are two years old. So yeah, probably hasn't ran in probably three years. So, we'll see today if we can get these things running. Um, supposedly they ran a couple of years ago. And uh, he said that this one would run but not uh, have any power. He said this one ran good when it did run. So the goal is to get both of them running and driving. That one's probably the nicer of the two right there. It looks a lot better. Not all cracked or anything. Let's take a look. There was a toad in here. Last time I saw it. The toad was like right here. <laughs> but it comes with the fire extinguisher. Some tools it looks like in here. Let's see what we got for a toolkit. Screwdriver, wrench, spark plug puller. Registration and insurance. And then, these are two cycle engines, so it requires mix. Put the gas in here, and then you put the two cycle oil in there. Compartment right here. An extra line. here this is unlocked this screen's always on for some reason I don't know if that's normal or not but probably drains the battery pretty good these things come down to get back up on it this one's got a broken screen right there but this whole thing comes up. And you've got a uh, toolkit right here with a fire extinguisher over on this side. You've got registration card, insurance card. And you've got a rope for probably just tying it to the dock. This is reverse. It's got the manual reverse on it. As you can see, it puts that in front of the so then it can go in reverse. Um, he said there was a repair right here done where the plugs go. He said, so just keep an eye on that. But uh, he, said, he said it should be fixed. 
he repaired that himself when he got him. He got him and he said he rode him twice. So he really hasn't spent too much time with him. You can see there's like a nest in there. That's not good. <laughs> so we'll have to get all that stuff out. This one, I'm kind of wondering why it doesn't uh, have any power. I'm thinking maybe low compression, but we'll see. I think we're going to start with this one, since this is the one that did run, supposedly. So, without further ado, let's uh, jump into it and see if we can get at least one of them running. Let's see what we got going on. So this I believe is a 700cc machine. Let's see. Where's the battery on this thing? There it is. Duracell, he said there was new batteries in this thing. A couple of years ago he said, so hopefully they're still good. I think what we're gonna do Let's take out the spark plugs, confirm we have spark, and then uh, lube up the cylinders a little bit and see if she'll fire up. These off. Oh, plugs were loose. BR8ES plugs. Just drop that one in there accidentally. That was tight. These were made in Austria, it looks like. There's the plug. Oh, it's nice and brown, chocolatey brown. That's what we like to see. So that one's good. Let's put that in there. Let me try to find the other plug there. I don't know where that went to. There's the plug. Note to self, don't drop that down beneath the engine. <laughs> Alright, before we put the spark plugs on, let's loop these cylinders a little bit. A little bit of penetrating oil down there. Let's see if she uh, turns on here. Positive. If I can reach it. And then negative. Got our key in right here. Let's see what happens when we hit the start button. Nothing. So that's not that. <laughs> Let's see what happens now. Still nothing. Oh, what the heck? I 
hooked up. Alright, uh, is there an on switch? Alright, key must not have been in fully. Now it's working here. Alright, so that turns over nice and good. Let's get the spark plugs back in there and uh, we'll check for spark. And we'll probably do a compression test. Just because you never know with the with the jet ski. Let's see here. Hard to tell. Oh yeah, that's good spark. That one's got good spark. Let's see this one. They both have good spark. <laughs> Just shocked myself. That was exciting. Ouch. Alright, we'll get a compression tester in here, see what we get. Alright, these should at least have 120 pounds of compression. At least. Should be closer to 130, but I'll check and see. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Here we go. We're gonna do throttle open. Crank her over. See what happens here. Oh yeah. 165 on that cylinder. That is great compression. Alright, let's see what the other one is at. So far, it's looking good. We've got spark, we've got compression on one cylinder. Let's see if our luck continues here. You guys, check that out. Throttle open. About 150 on that one. Awesome. Well over 120. All right. This thing might fire up. Let's throw some gas down the spark plug holes. All right, we've got a little premix here. You go in, a little squirt. Get our plugs back in. Hopefully the fuel pump is working. The guy did say uh, he changed out all the fuel when he bought them to uh, premium gasoline. He said there's ethanol in it. Fires up here. Doesn't want to turn over here. It's got too much compression. Keep running. I don't want to run it too long, they're, they're water cool. Pretty smoky. All 
All right, she runs pretty good. Let's siphon out a little fuel, see what that looks like. It's really pretty smoky. Um, I know it's two-stroke oil, but it looks pretty white. I don't know if you guys can see the oil tank, but that's filled all the way up. You can see there's blue oil in there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Kind of hard to see, a little dark in there. But that's filled all the way up. And the oil tank is actually right there. There's the fill. So, let's check that gas out, see what color that is. All right, let's see if we can siphon out anything through here. It's gonna be long enough or not. Probably not, actually. All right, we have our extension here. Go down the tank. And go all the way down. All right, let's see what happens when we pump it. There we go. So far it looks pretty clear. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty clear. Doesn't look too bad. All right, so gas and oil checkout. Everything looks pretty good. So we'll see if this thing fires up without putting gasoline down these cylinders. We want this thing to run reliably out on the water, otherwise it's a pain dealing with them. When you're floating around trying to maneuver it, it's it's not fun. All right, let's see if she fires up on her own. Alright, that fired right up. The battery needs some high uh, cranking amps to uh, fire that thing up, but it's running pretty good. Let's clear out the area back here of all the debris that we found. Alright, so there's a bunch of sticks and stuff caught in here. It looks like a mess of some sort. Let's get that out. We don't want that uh, wrecking our system here. Probably a baby bird in there somewhere. I'm afraid to put my hand in here. Bunch of sticks in there. Leaves and sticks. Pretty cleared out. A couple left in there. You don't want anything going into the prop right here. Alright, that's pretty cleared out. Looks pretty good in there. This one's gonna be ready to go. I'm trying to think of anything else we need to do to it. See the underside, looks pretty good. Let's see if she steers correctly. You guys take a look at this. So we're watching this steer. Yep, points that way. Yep. 
All right, everything looks good on this one. So this one is running good. That was easy. That one didn't take much to run. On to the second one. This one might be a little bit more challenging. All right, on to the Polaris. Got some gas on. Plug. Looks like he was trying to fix this thing. There's some laser platinum plugs in here. A couple brand new ones, NGK. All right, here's the engine. So I was looking up online. These are notorious for the fuel pump sensor to go on them, which um, controls the fuel injectors. So it pumps to the fuel injectors, and if that's bad, it won't pump enough to the fuel injectors, and it will kind of have problems like what they were experiencing. So there's actually no replacement part for that. Um, they're discontinued. So a lot of people just scrap these machines because of that. So hopefully that's not our problem, because <laughs> that would kind of suck. But you can see all the fuel injectors here going into each cylinder. These might need some cleaning, is what I'm thinking. But let's first go over the basics, make sure everything's good to go. and. Uh, We'll see if we can at least get this thing fired up and then we'll work on diagnosing this thing. So right now, you can see it says unlocked on it. These can be locked with a password, but it is unlocked, so that's good. Um, you can see we're about half a tank on the fuel. And I think we can push it. Oh, it does have a little juice left in it when you push the start button. See if the bilge pump works. Yep, that works. And then you've got reverse and forward right here. I think that only works when you're in the water. Got the lanyard right here for it. Put that on there. Which way it goes. That's on. Get to the spark plugs here. That's number one. Number two. Big boy three cylinder. Number three. Alright, let's get those out. Sorry for the wind. The trailer wouldn't fit in the garage. <laughs> yeah, pretty black. Not horrible. exactly the same as the first one. Not as black though. Alright, last one way down here. Pop it loose. There we go. tight. That plug was nice and brown actually. 
Look at that. All three plugs are out. Let's uh, spray a little penetrating oil. Let's hit the start button to see what happens here. All right, let's get a compression tester on them. See what we're working with here. All right, first cylinder. I think we need a battery hooked up to it. It's pretty low on charge, feels like. But we'll do a throttle open. You guys keep an eye on the gauge. Let's see what we get here. Where's the battery for this thing? So the battery is way down here. You can see it down there. It's just really hard to get to. Positive and negative, this whole thing's in the way right here. I wonder if I could take that thing out. All right, this whole bracket was able to come out so I could get to the battery a lot easier. So that was good. All right, let's see what we've got for compression. Over 120. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, I gotta turn this on. Huh. It wasn't all the way tight there. We're already at 150. We're about 160. That's pretty good. All right, cylinder one checks out. On to cylinder two. Let's see what we got. All right, throw it open. Here we go. One sixty. Awesome. All right, cylinder two checks out. Is cylinder three low? I wonder. All right, going all the way back there to cylinder three. See if we can fit it back there. Here we go. Throttle open. That one's a little bit lower. About 132. Still not bad. All right, compression checks out for all three cylinders. All right, check plug number one first. Let's see if we get anything. Good place to check here. Ground that out. Okay. Don't really want to go right next to the gas. Okay. All right. I'll zoom in. See if you guys can see any spark. Oh yeah, 
good spark. All right, that one's got spark. Cylinder one looks good. Cylinder two. Let's see if you have spark. Let's see if you guys can see anything. Oh yeah. Yep, cylinder two has good spark. spark on that one but I think this plug is fouled. This plug looks pretty fouled. Let's get a new plug for that. That looks good now. Alright we've got compression on all three and spark on all three. So it must be a fuel problem. But uh, we'll see if she fires up here. We'll put some gas down the cylinders. Gas going in. Spark plugs going in. All right, will she fire up here? Let's see. Start button, turn this to on, it's on. pretty good. Huh. Revs out pretty good. I think there's a rev limiter on it though. Kind of sounds like it. Sounds like it's getting fuel. Hmm. We might have to take this one in the water and just see what it's doing. Because everything sounds really good. Let's see if it fires right back up.
All right, it's dripping fuel from the fuel lines here. Either these attachments are bad, something's going on. It's leaking all sorts of fuel right from this line and right from this line going into there. So that's probably why it was low on power. It's not getting consistent gasoline to the injectors. You can see it's all leaking out. See that one's not tight right there. I wonder if that's why. Looks like it was just the clamp. It's no longer leaking gas, and it was missing a clamp up here I put on. So it was missing a couple clamps, and a couple were not tight. So I think that was why it was leaking gas. But any type of air getting into the system with a pump is really bad, and that could definitely lead to um, it bogging down and causing it to run the crap. So hopefully that was the only problem. All right, low oil mark came up and the gauge as well. Gas is super clear. Looks really good. Dump that right back in. So this one's running really good. It's revving out completely. Sounds great. Gas is good, oil's good. It's definitely getting gas pumped to the uh, cylinders here from the pump, so that's working. Yeah, everything's working great. It's got spark, good compression. She fires right up. Let's see all. Let's see if it fires right back up here. Yeah, everything looks really good. Fires right back up. No leaking at all now.
All right, obviously we need some new seat covers, but they turned out pretty good, pretty clean. Not too bad for what I paid for them. Not too bad at all. All right, made it to the boat landing. It's got a brand new battery. We're gonna take the one that we know works, well, at least the guy said works out first, and then we'll take this one out and see if it uh, revs out completely unlike before so let's see if they float too it'll be interesting Let's see how this goes. All right, we got a mount right here and a mount in the back for the GoPro. Let's see how this goes here. First, we'll start it up.
Oh, really? Oh, really? I didn't know that. We just moved here, so. Oh, sorry about that. I didn't know that. Yup. Oh, I, I had no idea. Cause... Oh, so boats, so boats can go fast, though? So no jet skis, though? Really? Oh, darn. Okay, I didn't see that. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I'll put her away. go below wake speed here. That really sucks. First ride went really good. It uh, revved out completely, this one did. Super smooth, ran perfectly. Everything was going perfect until I got kicked off the lake. Um, apparently, you can't ride jet skis um, at uh, speed. You have to make no wake with jet skis, so. I didn't know that. Um, I just assumed because there were speed boats and pontoons and tubing and skiing, you could ride a jet ski, but apparently this really nice guy stopped me and uh, he said that they had some younger guys that were taking stand-up jet skis and jumping docks and stuff like that, so they ruined it for everyone. So they banned jet skis from going fast on the lake, um, which I think technically they just tried to ban stand-up jet skis, so yeah. But yeah, you can't go fast with a jet ski on the lake um, that my in-laws live on. Um, the lake I live on is just electric, so you can't go on that either. So we'll have to go to the bigger lake in Watoma and try that with this one, because we didn't get to test this one out. And I'm not just gonna put it in the water and let it idle. <laughs> That's stupid. So, yeah, this one's a nice run, I have two. But man, does that thing move? It was running perfectly. So I think what we're gonna do with this one is get a new cover for it right here. This little piece, get a new one of those, and then a new seat cover. They sell them on eBay. And that one will be like good as new. This thing just runs amazingly. I really like it a lot. It's really fast. So I think tomorrow we're gonna try this one at the bigger lake and see if it revs out completely. Hopefully it does, because this one's really nice. All right, we're testing out the Genesis today. Made it out to Lake Irigami. Let's see, no wake. Of course, my GoPro mount isn't mounting correctly right now. Kind of sucks.
slow at first here. kind of stalling out here it's like not going full speed gets going pretty good but not quite maybe it's just clearing out here Looks like it only wants to go 35 miles an hour. That's not good. I don't know what that would be. All right, so I rode it with the seat off because I thought like the exhaust kind of sounded clogged and when I took the seat off, there was a bunch of smoke in here. And uh, sure enough, it goes about 45 now with the seat off. So I think our exhaust system's clogged. So I'm gonna go back home and see if I can get this unclogged here. I don't have the right tools with me. All right, got back home. I think we have an exhaust leak. I could see smoke coming from the manifold going to the exhaust. So I'm pretty sure there's an exhaust leak right here. We'll start it up here quick and see if we can see any smoke. Actually, did a little bit more digging. I think I found the problem. If we look in here, see how there's a clamp right there, 
There should be one on the other side as well, but it's broken off. See, there's a clamp right there. There should be one down here. But yeah, that's definitely broken off down there. You can see. See that? It's missing the clamp on the other side. And I found it. It's broken off. It was over here. Oh, right there. There it is. It's sitting right there. See the broken clamp right there. Let's see if I can get it out of here. But that one's broken. So that one right there. That clamp, it's hard to see. But yeah, definitely an exhaust leak. So, at least we know the problem. But uh, we'll dig into that later. We're getting into there for today. But uh, yeah, both machines are running, driving. This one with the seat off goes about 45. This one's really fast. That one's running perfect. So we just have to fix the exhaust leak on the Genesis and uh, we'll have two good running machines. So thanks for watching guys. Thanks for subscribing. Stay tuned for next video. And until next time, we are out.